Today I'm making a shaker ornament using my stitched rectangle dies and scripty holiday greetings from Simon Says Stamp, featuring my two puppies Chase and Jackson. If you've been keeping up with Vlogmas, you would have seen them in previous crafting videos, and now they're back again. I'm starting off by running my puppy picture through my cuddle bug using the largest rectangular die. Similar to my shaker card, I've previously cut multiple borders using my stitched rectangle dies. However, since I've detached the two dies I used to create the borders, I need to line them back up again to ensure that they are the exact same distance. I'm using one of the borders I already cut to help me line up my dies. If you just slide them around a bit, you will feel them almost pop right into place. Once those are all set, I'm using a piece of scotch tape to hold my dies into place. I'm now running that through my cuddle bug, creating the top border out of blue cardstock. As you can see, the borders line up perfectly. I've cut a piece of acetate using the largest rectangle dies, and I'm now adhering it to the top border using my multi matte medium. I'm lining up my sentiment and my misty stamping tool, and I've put my picture behind the acetate and the border to give me an idea of where I want to place my sentiment. Once I've got the placement all set, I'm going to be inking up my sentiment using my opaque white stays on ink. Whenever stamping on acetate, you need to use stays on ink, or the image will just wipe right off. Once my stamp is properly inked up, I will close the door to the misty and press firmly down to get a nice clean impression. And here's that nicely stamped sentiment. I'm now using my multi matte medium and adhering about 10 or so borders together, creating the dimensional pocket for the shaker. Once those are all set, I'm adhering on the top border and acetate piece, and here you can see the nice dimension you get from all the borders. It's now time to add in the shaker bits, so I'm using Pearl Necklace Mix, Lagoon Mix, and Nautical Sparkle Mix from Little Things by Lucy's Cards, along with some Cobalt Blue Seed Beads and Crystal Seed Beads from Prima. I'm again going over with my multi matte medium, and I'll align my photo on top, and then press firmly down, adhering it into place. And here you can see that fun shaker that it creates. You could be done here, or adhere this onto a card base making it a card, but I'm making it into an ornament, so I'm running a line of multi matte medium around the border, and I'm placing on my ribbon and adhering that into place. I'll go around with my adhesive and ribbon until it's adhered all around the entire border. I'm now going along the bottom again with my adhesive, I'm going to be placing a second layer of ribbon along the bottom, and then the sides. The first layer was mainly to cover up the top of the border. You could skip that layer, but I think it gives it a more finished look in the end. Once I have the ribbon adhered on the bottom and up both the sides, I'm going to be finishing it off with a little bow, and that will complete the shaker ornament. I hope you enjoyed Vlogmas Day 12. Don't forget to come back tomorrow for more festive crafting, and don't forget to subscribe so that you're notified when new videos go up. Thanks so much for joining me today. I hope you have a wonderful holiday, and I will see you guys next time. Bye! Mm -hmm.